Hey, welcome back to another video for our security issues on our jokes application. So in the previous video, we did a prepared statement that would uh, fix the vulnerabilities for the login form. In this video, I'd like to explore the uh, possibilities for fixing the search input. So you recall that we had a bunch of uh, SQL select statements that we could uh, override. For instance, the simplest one was simply putting in an apostrophe and a semicolon and a comment. And this uh, allowed us to search for all the jokes. And so we could also search for the uh, users table and search for all of the username and passwords. So that was obviously a problem. We're going to fix this. Now, if you finish the last video, which was fixing the uh, login vulnerabilities, we changed the SQL statements to prepared statements. And so I would challenge you to try to fix the same error on this form because the solution is the exact same. So copy and paste some of the solutions from before and tweak them to adjust for the new SQL search. However, if you want to watch along, I will solve the problem here using the code editor. Okay, so if you're going to continue to watch, I might as well do some typing here. So let's go find the search keyword and let's see if we can fix this problem here. Okay, so the part that we're going to fix is down at the SQL statement. So I'm going to take the original SQL statement and just put a comment in front of it and put it all in one line. So the first thing I'm going to do is create the uh, object called statement. And we'll, we'll call the prepare um, method from the SQL, uh, MySQLi object. Most of the uh, SQL statement is not going to change, so I'm going to copy the previous work and paste it into the prepare statement. Let's put quotation marks around it. Now in a prepared statement, we are not allowed to use any variable names. The only variable name that we have right now is the uh, keyword from form. So let's delete that and change it to a question mark. The next statement that we're going to execute is called bind parameters. It requires two different uh, parameters and they are going to define what this question mark means. So we are binding the question mark to a variable. Well, we still have the variable called keyword from form, so that is not going to change. Let's put that into our statement. And then the previous, uh, the first uh, parameter is a, a letter. So what kind of variable is this? This is an integer, a string. It's a string, so we'll put an S. So the next two statements will execute the query and then store the result in the object called statement. Now the next statement is called bind result. And what we need to do is tell it the, uh, the tell the PHP that we're going to expect a certain number of variables to be associated with the columns in the table. So you can see that the uh, select statement that I'm looking for has five different uh, columns. So we're going to need five variables. So the results that I'm going to expect are the column names. So joke ID, a joke question, joke answer, user ID, and username. And so I'm just assigning variable names here as they are associated with the column names. So the uh, lines below here are going to be modified. So we're no longer expecting a result, so I'm going to delete that. And instead of saying uh, result uh, arrow number of columns, it's going to be very similar. It's going to be the uh, STMT. If the number of rows is greater than zero, then we can go through and fetch each of these. So as I mentioned in a previous video, uh, fetch associative works well in a Mac environment, but not so much in a Windows. So I'm just going to use the uh, generic fetch. So instead of having a row variable with a uh, associated uh, type of column name, we're just going to use the variable names that I uh, uh, did with the bind result. So the first thing is going to be the joke question. So joke question is the first item. Then we want to print the joke answer. So that looks like, uh, let's see, was it joke underscore answer? Submitted by the username. So let's put in username. Now the other things that I associated with, such as the joke ID and the user ID, were not used, so they're just ignored. So before I go to test it out, it looks like I have an error up here. So I forgot to tell this thing is a, a dollar sign to tell that it is a MySQL I variable, which came from DB Connect. Now keyword from form is going to work, um, but only if the user types in the exact match. So what we need is a wildcard character in front and behind of this keyword from form. 
So let's, uh, let's do a slight modification. So I'm going to append a percent sign at the beginning of keyword from form and a, a percent sign after it as well. So that will give us the wild card. All right, let's go and try our jokes page here. So let's put in chicken and then search. Okay, it looks like I've made a mistake here. It says unknown variable is result. Did I forget to change something? I certainly did. So here we go with uh, while a statement fetch. And we do not need to save it into any variable called row. So left over from the previous code. Okay, let's refresh the page. And now we have chickens. Let's check to see if it works with something else. Let's put in the letter A and do a search. Okay, so it appears to be working for normal input. Now, how about the select statements that we're hacking? So let's try and do the simplest one and do a search. So the uh, search doesn't re result in any jokes uh, at all now, so this seems to be working. And I don't think we can do the user's thing, so we can't get the user's name from the table. Let's try that and search. And no results is found from our hacking attempts earlier. So it appears that this SQL select statement is more secure than it was before. So thanks to prepared statements. So just a quick look at the code there to make sure that I got everything right. The uh, SQL statement didn't print anything, so let's do, so let's just take that out of the loop now. That doesn't seem to be useful anymore. And the SQL statement itself is gone. So just a little cleanup. Okay, so we're gonna go on and do some other security things in just a moment, but that's a, a huge improvement for our uh, uh, database security. So we've got one more to go. Let's look at the add joke. Uh, this is using an insert statement here. So I'm going to let you try to do this one as well. So see if you can pause the video and solve the security issue with add joke. If you can't, if you can't solve it, then uh, I'll just do another video. So hang on and uh, I'll be right back.